Hey there, welcome to your topic for this week. Let's discuss the self in Western and Eastern thought. Filipinos unconsciously have an internal battle. This is caused by the different influences from their Eastern and Western self, where East is attributed to Asia and West is attributed to Europe and North America. This Eastern versus Western dichotomy creates different perceptions of the self. The dilemma is in which culture an individual should adopt. There are different religious beliefs and political philosophies that influence an individual's perspective of self. In our Eastern self, we have four. Let's start with Confucianism. With the primary objective of a harmonious social life, an individual's identity and self-concept become interwoven with the identity and status of his or her community or culture. Thus, an individual shares its pride and failures. Confucian society creates a subdued self as an individual represses its needs for the good of many. In effect, this creates a hierarchy that contains order and balance in society. Next, we have Taoism, which focuses on the belief that through an understanding of the natural laws, an individual can be one with a Tao by living in accordance with nature, which includes cosmos and the universe. An individual is expected to adapt in all of nature's transformation and changes. This is the way to eternal life. Next, we have Buddhism. In summary, its belief is centered in the ability of the individual to attain nirvana, or the liberation from the suffering caused by human-centered needs. This is achieved from breaking from the attachments an individual has with the world. Hinduism is regarded as the attainment of liberation in the identification of the spiritual essence of all individual human beings, which is called Atman, and the spiritual essence of the universe, which is called Brahman. It is also important to mention that in Filipino psychology, we have the concept of Kapwa, a recognition of shared identity or an inner identity inner self shared with others. We have two levels or modes of social interaction which are ibang tao or outsider and hindi ibang tao or one of us. This concept strengthens our identity that leans toward collectivism. Contrary to that, the Western self focuses on the individual and its needs. Thus, becoming purely egoistic. Western culture relies heavily on the acquisition of material things. It is obsessed with being successful, and they see hard work as an essential factor for wealth. Given these factors, the Western idea of the self is built based on the social constructs that surround an individual. Self is an interpersonal unit that takes form in communication and the meaning made making it has with others. Continuous acquisition of substance through semantic or the logic behind the communication, syntactic or the rules of language, and pragmatic, how language is used to communicate. The difference between individualism and collectivism. So individualism, people are autonomous and independent from their in-groups. They give priority to their personal goals versus the goals of their in-groups. They behave on the basis of attitudes rather than norms. In collectivism, people are interdependent within their in-groups. They give priority to the goals of their in-groups. In-groups primar primarily shape their behavior and they behave in a communal way and lastly, they are concerned in maintaining relationships with others. Despite these differences, both approaches have similarities. First is the belief in a higher being who guides humanity. And in addition, both approaches share the concept that a deeper understanding of reality is possible.
Western culture, sometimes equated with Western civilization, Western lifestyle, Western society or European civilization is a term used very broadly to refer to a heritage of social norms, ethical values, traditional customs, belief systems, political systems, and specific artifacts and technologies that have some origin or association with Europe, having both indigenous and foreign origin. The term has come to be applied by people of European ethnicity to countries whose history is strongly marked by European immigration, colonization, and influence, such as the continents of the Americas and Australasia, whose current demographic majority is of European ethnicity, and is not restricted to the continent of Europe. Western culture is characterized by a host of artistic, philosophic, literary, and legal themes and traditions. The heritage of Greek, Roman, Jewish, Celtic, Germanic and other ethnic and linguistic groups, as well as Christianity including the Roman Catholic Church, and the Orthodox Church, which played an important part in the shaping of Western civilization since at least the 4th century. Also contributing to Western thought, in ancient times and then in the Middle Ages and the Renaissance onwards, a tradition of rationalism in various spheres of life, developed by Hellenistic philosophy, scholasticism, humanism, the scientific revolution and the enlightenment. Values of Western culture have, throughout history, been derived from political thought, widespread employment of rational argument favoring free thought, assimilation of human rights, the need for equality, and democracy. Historical records of Western culture in Europe begin with ancient Greece and ancient Rome. Western culture continued to develop with Christianization during the Middle Ages, the reform and modernization triggered by the Renaissance, and with globalization by successive European empires, that spread European ways of life and European educational methods around the world between the 16th and 20th centuries. European culture developed with a complex range of philosophy, medieval scholasticism and mysticism, and Christian and secular humanism. Rational thinking developed through a long age of change and formation, with the experiments of the Enlightenment, and breakthroughs in the sciences. Tendencies that have come to define modern Western societies include the existence of political pluralism, prominent subcultures or countercultures, such as New Age movements, and increasing cultural syncretism resulting from globalization and human migration.